Hi, this is Usman Malik of LondonLawTutor.com and this third podcast is going to be about the subject of equity and trusts which some students, uh, well many students find conceptually difficult in um, their LLB undergraduate studies. So, let's think about this. We're going to approach this uh, subject in um, two uh, distinct ways. Firstly, we'll be looking at what is equity, and secondly, we will look at what is a trust. So, what is equity? Equity, as um, defined by Aristotle, the Greek philosopher, in his Ethics, says, Equity is the rectification of formal justice. So, what does this entail? Well, to give you an example, equity solidifies the common law or any act of parliament, which is the law, like a statute, wherever it is weak in its constitution. Um, Equity has certain equitable maxims, like he who comes to equity must come with clean hands. And uh, equity will not allow a a statute enacted to prevent fraud to be used as an engine of fraud. So to take an example, we can see that the in trust law, the doctrine of secret trusts, whereby someone makes a trust, which we'll be looking at what it is, and uh, a trustee is appointed who holds the legal title in the property. And if that person denies that obligation later on, uh, equity will impose this obligation on him and um, will impose a trust, which is a fiduciary obligation under that trust. So equity really rectifies and solidifies uh, the law. And um, historically in England and Wales, um, there used to be two parallel court systems. The courts of equity or also known as the chancery courts and the common law courts. However, with the passage of time, these two parallel court systems merged. And uh, even now, however, the intellectual distinction between the two remains very important. And equity has uh, obviously more remedies, unlike common law, which mostly awards damages in a claim for compensation. Uh, However, equity has uh, many more remedies, like an injunction or um, rescission, uh, rectification, and so on and so forth. Now, let's see what a trust is. A trust is can be defined as the imposition of an equitable obligation on the holder of the legal title. And the the trick that the trust is able to achieve is simultaneously the equitable interest is carved out and remains or goes to the beneficiaries of the trust. And uh, a lot of students struggle with the terminology in equity and trust. So... Who is the person who makes a trust? He is either known as the settlor, if he makes the trust during his lifetime, or if he makes the trust trust through his will, he is known as the testator. And if a, if a lady or a woman t- makes a trust, she is known as the testatrix through her will. So... The terminology can be difficult at times, so the settlor, if he makes a trust during his lifetime, will appoint someone who he feels um, is honest and will, you know, uh, give way to his intentions of benefiting someone known as, or people, or persons known as the beneficiaries of the trust. And I think um, trust law can be used in many contexts whether, uh, you know, to get um, security over a loan or uh, it becomes important in an insolvency because uh, beneficiaries of a trust are uh, immune to the insolvency of the trustee because they have a beneficial or 
equitable proprietary interest in the trust property. So although the legal title remains with the trustee, the main importance is that the equitable title is separated and remains with the beneficiaries of the trust. Um, so I hope this uh, has shed, shed some light on uh, the basics of equity and trust. Thank you.